to me. <coughs> so my brother said, no, I won't, Papa. Tell her what you're wrong. You know, and he says, shut up, you know how to do it. I'm saying, brother, brother, what is wrong? What have I done wrong? He says, sis, and he blurted out, and the next door name is Frank, Keith, and the next. Oh, I said, take me to him, brother, take me to him. And he went, I can't, sis. He says, but these people lie. And I said, why, why, why? Then the doctor says to me, oh, the policeman says to me, I said, you've no need to come here and talk. I said, because you're out there. And I said, Keith, I'm fed for you people, always coming and drinking here and then going out on your naughty cycles and falling <coughs> off, and then we get blamed. <laughs> and we do. We did, seriously. Yeah, we did, yeah. Every time they came up, they'd stick and drink and drink and drink. And then they'd go out on the naughty tricycles and then go down the... Because we were down the hill and they never... Never went down the hill. <laughs> they never went down the hill, right? You know, like, people were walking right properly. They used to roll over on them. Um, so he just said to me, uh, Keith, I'll take it to see Keith. I said, where is he? He said, Okay. I said, oh, okay. And I said, will you tell me what's going on? Who you call me? I'm on the policeman. He said, I'll take you there to see you. He said, we all know your temperament and we have to tell you what we think. Okay? I said, oh, okay. And then we were out of the place Mark. Because I knew where Mark was. Mm -hmm. I said, this is the mark. And he said, well, I had to take your keys off you, I had to get you out, I had to do this, he said, he's dead. I tried to fight myself out of the police car. I tried to run and scream. I would. She dramatically did it, instead of just saying he's dead. Yeah. Just dramatically. And I went in. And there was blood all over the place, all of it. And because his Uncle Frank was in as well with him, and Uncle Frank, he, Keith got killed out straight away because he, the steering wheel hit him in the mm -hmm. And then Uncle Frank <coughs> got it, and he, his back was broken, and he crawled out of the car to go and get help. And he was bleeding all over. And it, 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 was, it was terrible. And, um, <clears throat> they put this thing over his head. So I'm just going like that, just to talk to Keith, you know, and, and he, he came and went, don't touch that. But I didn't realise they're taking everything out yeah. here, you oh. see. And, uh, and I'm just saying, you be a, you did this purposely because why didn't you tell me you didn't want me? You know, because you blame yourself. Yeah. Why didn't you tell me because I said I would have left you? I wouldn't have spent time more. <laughs> But I didn't really, because it, took, it takes two to tango, doesn't it? And um, he didn't answer me, and I, would, and I couldn't touch him, no one could touch him. And um, it's our uncle, his uncle, and his spine had gone straight through his back to me. He, he splattered all, it was in the splattered all the blood all over because I couldn't stop it to the right Anyway. <coughs>